Railways is optimistic that despite the hurdles that they have faced, the Phase 2A of the project will be complete in time and on budget. The 150 billion shillings is expected to begin operations by the end of May this year, as Faisal Mohammed reports. Over the last one and a half years, Kenya Railways has embarked on the construction of the Phase 2 way of the Standard Gauge Railway, which is 120 kilometers long at a cost of 150 billion shillings. However, their biggest hurdle so far has been land compensation, mainly between the tranche between Ngong and Rongai areas. Uh, especially between kilometer 12 to kilometer 34, up to the tunnel where we were. That area consists of Rogai, Ongata Rogai, and Ngong. Those are highly densely populated um, areas, and most of the pubs in that area where we pass through, well, most of them are affected. Currently, we have around 380 in 5.1 kilometers that is remaining, whom we have not compensated to get the whole corridor for construction. Phase 2A of the standard gauge railway is at least three to four times more expensive per kilometer compared to the line between Nairobi and Mombasa mainly due to the bridges that are constructed, one of them being seven kilometers long that is transversing the Nairobi National Park and also the seven kilometer long tunnel that was drilled in Gong. The overall completion of this project we are at 90 percent. If you look at what we have done for the track, we have done around 85%. We are gearing up uh, towards uh, completing this project by 31st May 2019 uh, because we believe that whatever hurdles that we still have, the government will assist us to, to overcome them so that we can meet at it. Kenya Railways is optimistic that the contractor will finish this project on time and hand it over to them by the 31st of May so that it can be officially launched without any delays. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV.